Howdy folks and welcome back to Newbie Barbecue where I'm firing up the smoker, learning how to barbecue, and bringing you along for the ride. Today I'm trying something different. We're going beef ribs, that's right. Brisket on a stick, the old dinosaur ribs. And in fact, here they are. If you can see, these are just two ribs because it's just my lovely wife and I, so we didn't need more than that. But here they are and I'm excited to bring them to you. Cook them and, and let's see what they taste like. First thing we're going to have to do is trim off this silver skin on the top. We're going to salt and pepper it, throw it on the smoker, and get cooking. All right, as you can see, I've trimmed up a lot of this. Now, I know it's hard to see, but there's, there's what's called silver skin. There's a layer of silver skin underneath the fat that was on top of this. And you're trying to get that off, otherwise the smoke and seasoning won't penetrate the top of the ribs. Now, the back side, Unlike pork ribs where you would pull this membrane off, you're leaving this on with the beef ribs because it as it's actually going to hold the meat onto the bone as you're cooking. You take that off and it'll fall apart. One thing I have learned while I've been doing this since I've started this is my knife kills the skills, they kind of suck. But I'm hoping that gets better with experience. We'll see. So now we're going to go ahead and apply the rub and this is going to be very simple. We're using coarse kosher salt that I'm just going to apply fairly liberally and then I'm going to use a, a coarse mesh pepper. Oh, one more note about the fat. This layer of fat, you can see it's a pretty thick layer of fat. I'm not worried about the fat. Fat's good. Fat's flavor, people. So I didn't want to take that off. I was just trying to get the silver skin that was on there. And then as you can see, there's striations of fat throughout that's gonna make this delicious. So let me go ahead and throw the salt and pepper on. I'll see you at the grill. Okay, I've got the Weber Smoky Mountain up to 275, and that means it's time to throw them ribs on the smoker. All right, guys, we're using Texas Post Oak to smoke these beef ribs today. Now, you can see I do have a probe going into the ribs, but I'm not really cooking to an internal temperature. But really what we're looking for today is we're gonna be probing for tenderness. And when it gets to the right, like the cliche, like butter, when you can stick your probe through like butter, that's when we know it's gonna be done. And we're not gonna do with the, a lot with this from this point on. We're gonna let it smoke. We're gonna let as good a bark as we can get built up, build up, and then uh, we'll check in later. Okay, so we're about six hours into the cook and it is really close to being done. I just probed it, but as you can see, Rain started falling and I had to cover this vent, but I'm gonna pull it off anyway. And I'm gonna take it inside and wrap it. And we're gonna let it cook the rest of the way in, in a, wrapped in a cooler, so. So I mentioned it was almost ready. When you probe certain parts, it is really tender. But there is, there's a membrane in there that you should be able to just push right through. And it's still got a little tug, but as you saw, the grill is done. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and wrap this in, in butcher paper. And I'm gonna put it in the cooler and let it rest for about an hour and see if it can uh, finish cooking that way. But even if it doesn't, you always need to let your meat rest, your beef rest, because as it cooks, it pushes moisture out and you have to give it time to let that moisture come back in and so that you don't dry out the meat when you start cutting. So this is it, let me wrap this and we'll pull it when it's time to eat and see how we did. Alrighty, it's been an hour. These have been resting in the cooler. It's time to slice them and see what they look like. Okay. Got wonderful juices collecting in the butcher paper. And this is what she looks like at the end. Oh, I gotta tell you, it smells good. You can smell the oak to me. And these two ribs, we got a lot of pullback, which is a good thing. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. 
That is nice and juicy. We got a lot of rendered fat in there. We've got a beautiful smoke ring. This is why they call it brisket on a stick and it looks fantastic. Just gonna nibble off a little piece and see how it tastes. But I think this is gonna be good. Uh, my wife wants a little piece too. We'll split that. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good. It is very flavorful. It tastes great. I can taste the smoke. I can taste the salt and pepper. It's got good bark. This is going to be good eating, folks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like it. Subscribe if you want to see more because we'll be coming back later to smoke something else and learn how to do something new. Have a great day.